Hi guys, thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. Um, I want to share a story with you today that um, I hope you find encouraging and inspiring. Please stick with me through to the end because it's so worth it. Um, the story is about a young boy um, who has just started learning the piano, so his parents have just gotten going with piano lessons and they want to inspire him and encourage him. What better way to do that than to take him to a piano concert with the incredible pianist Paderewski. So um, they go to the concert and everyone's going in, you can picture the scene, you know, as all the, the seats are filling up, there's a gentle mutter of people talking um, and everyone's kind of finding where their tickets are um, and taking their seats. And, and the parents don't notice um, in this time that their, their child's disappeared off, maybe they're distracted talking to someone, um, but they don't notice that their, their, their son's disappeared at the start of this concert until everyone sat down um, at that moment when the, the curtains open and everyone's ready for this performance and to the parents, shock, horror and dismay. They see their young son sat there at the grand piano in the middle of this stage clunking out the, the notes to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, kind of a true childish performance. They're, they're embarrassed, they shrink into their seats wishing that they could disappear. So embarrassed about their son being on the stage um, and as he continues to play people in the audience start to shout get off the stage, you know, stop this, where are the parents? And, and the parents are there feeling increasingly embarrassed, no idea what to do. So they stand up red-faced trying to wave their son um, off the stage and, and, and still not be noticed at the same time, you know, that kind of embarrassing moment where it's like, I need to get this boy's attention, but, you know, don't, don't see us, I don't want anyone to know that we're the parents. Um, and um, the boy just sits there and he keeps playing. And then Paderewski steps out, this incredible pianist, I and mean, everyone wonders what's going to happen while the pianist's out, their son's, their, their son's invo uh, uh, you know, kind of invaded the stage, something's going, going on here. And Paderewski approaches the boy sat at the piano and he whispers in his ear, keep playing, don't stop, keep playing. And then Paderewski stands behind the boy, he reaches his arms round him on each side and he begins to play this beautiful tune. He, improvises spontaneously this incredible music working in and around the boy's tune anticipating every note working with every mistake turning this simple child song into this incredible music with harmony harmony melody rhythm and just working in and around and with this boy's playing everyone sat there in stunned silence watching the greatest performance they've ever seen much greater than had he just come out and played on his own because they see his skill in working with this child and, and working in and around and with the child's mistakes. And I think this story is an incredible illustration of life with God, what it can be like when we try and do life. Some of us feel confidence in life. You know, we feel like we've got it, we're, we're, we're performing well on stage, we're doing great, and, and that's all good. But many of us feel this sense of inadequacy, insufficiency, we're ill-prepared, we're broken, um, we, we, we feel like failures, we feel like we're on this stage like this child playing and, and there are people trying to, to shout us off the stage and we, we're kind of aware that we're not making a particularly good job at it. But here's the awesome thing, God can come and turn our childish playing, our, our clumsy strumming into beautiful music if we trust him. And I think there's a few lessons we can take from this boy. The first thing is, when people tried to shout him off the stage, he wasn't phased by it. He just kept doing what he, he knew how. He wanted to show off his learning. Um, and he wasn't um, overridden by um, embarrassment or self-awareness or self-consciousness. He just kept going. And then when Paderewski stepped out and said, keep playing, keep going, don't stop. He trusted him and he continued to play, he just continued to do what he knew how. There's a sort of simplicity and beauty and willingness to this, this boy, the way he just kind of stays there and he plays. And then Paderewski stepping and working around him and every single feature of the boy's um, tune, whether it's his mistakes or the, the notes he's got right, have been turned into this beautiful song. And it's like this with God, when we trust God in our lives. Paul puts it this way, he says in Romans 8.28, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and according to his, called according to his purposes. In all things, in literally every single situation, we see that 
that God is, is there, he's with us, he's turning our, our mistakes, our highs, our lows, our failures, our brokenness into this beautiful song, into this beautiful tune with melody and rhythm and it's trusting him to be able to do that. And all we have to do is be willing, not listen to the voices of discouragement and distraction, not listen to the people who would want to call us off stage, but just trust the one who has the skill to, to work in us and with us, in and around our mistakes, turning it into a beautiful song. So I think this is a, a really encouraging story for anyone who um, lacks a self-confidence and um, feels inadequate or anyone who feels discouraged by the voices around them. We have a God who's good, who's faithful, who's trustworthy. He doesn't use us despite our weaknesses, but he actually uses us because of our weaknesses. If you think about it, that performance was all the more beautiful, all the more stunning and all the more astounding precisely because that boy continued. It was just the synergy of, of perfection and imperfection, the synergy of simplicity and skill that, that made such a beautiful performance that evening. Now, I don't know if it's a true story or not. To me, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's the, the, the message behind it, the, the picture that it, it, it paints. I mean, Jesus often taught in stories and, and parables because he wanted to get across spiritual truths. So as I say, it's, it's something that, um, a story that I personally take great encouragement from and find it very inspiring. And I hope you do too. Um, I just want to finish by saying thank you so much for those of you who have engaged with these videos, whether that's, um, making comments, asking questions, sharing the videos, um, interacting um, on Facebook. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves and I will look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.